How long, oh how blessed long Have I been sleeping I'm stiff to the bone Slap the face of atrophy I'll take that sidelong glance To mean that something here Stir it deeply Got this feeling I'm late Like I should be somewhere by now But the distance there is greater The head to the heart is a long and weary road. Just take me there before you take me to the Undertaker. And bury me standing like a crow. I will stare out through the unkept grasses, through the summers and the snows, while the generations pass. In the dark beneath the leaves Falling like cicada wings In crumbling degrees I'm pacing the gate my color high against the wind And I raise a voice to shout it. Like spit to the moon Like a whisper in the gale In the battle steep Like a dagger Will you ease my doubting Bury me standing like a And I will stare out through the unkept grasses, through the summers and the snows, while the generations pass. In the dark beneath the leaves, falling like cicada wings, crumbling to grief. Oh. Lend me love, lend me poetry and love, and save my soul for later, and ease my drought from a goblet of a king, and give me rest before you take me to the Undertaker. That was a song that I snuck through on a Desbrook Desbr book album. <laughs> See, they don't get metaphor any better than they got me. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not used to playing through the microphone on here, so if the guitar fades out, it's because I walk away. <laughs> What's this something I see falling straight down from the sky? 
Feels like something like the rain that makes you want to cry It's been that long since I felt free So let the color enter in And I look around me and I can see the light that shines on you Like the palette of Matisse, you come and throw it back with every hue But I've been focused on the distance That's my sin you like some long romantic mystery, like some lost American prose. Don't look now, babe, cause I think we're getting older. And all that noise has been such little recompense. But here we are now, standing shoulder up to shoulder. Just to look, you say things even Dante never heard such uncommon eloquence Now I'm a lover of words and I drink them in every chance I get Words on rhythm, words on music so we don't forget Words on paper, carbon pictures, right out of thin air And up too lately when the sky's been looking black and blue I've been known to disappear, scribble down a line or two. My little rhymes fade to nothing next to you. We've stomped along through all these buckets of rain, and I guess there's still be an ocean or more. But don't look now, babe, because I think we're getting older. And all that noise has been such a little record. Here we are now, standing shoulder up to shoulder. I can't imagine a lifetime better spent. Such a common eloquence. And a young man jumps on stage with his guitar cocked like a pistol. And he fires anger like 20 years of earned him wisdom. But we don't need to stay here and be assaulted. The best of songs are always played beneath the porch light. The best of love is in the middle of the day. And look, my soul is not at war now for a change. I want to read you like some 50s Captain Marvel, like some Baroque High Latin dance. But don't look now, babe, because I think we're getting older. This old world has been such little recompense. Here we are now, standing shoulder up to shoulder. You're the only book on the shelf that ever made much sense. Such uncommon eloquence. my uh, first time coming to an ex-Mormon Foundation conference. I knew about it last year, which was the first time it came around after my, after I fell out of the family tree. <laughs> and, um, but I was reticent to come last year. I didn't know how angry I wanted to get, how angry I wanted to feel. But what I didn't know, what I didn't realize fully at the time was the community of people that have jumped out and uh, provided such a beautiful landing. And it's all of you, and it's my friends who have left, and a couple of women. <laughs> it's been nice. <laughs> but when I was, uh, I, I was contemplating what I was going to do, the decision that I was forming in my mind had been taking shape for many years. And during these years, I was on the road a lot. And I had a lot of time behind the wheel driving by myself while I tried to think about what I was going to do. It took a long time because my family is six generations in the church. 
you know, the whole, the whole thing, just, right? The bullet list, we check them all. And um, so how do you get the momentum you need, you know? When you're launching a satellite, it has to reach escape velocity in order to reach orbit. And so in every one of our cases, I think we probably had to find that moment when we found that we had escape velocity to actually leave and not fall back down into the gravity, you know, of the culture that we, that we have been trying to, the culture that we were raised in or whatever. But during this time, uh, Mother Teresa died, and so I sat and listened to a lot of radio shows on while I was driving about when her journals were published. Everybody was so surprised about some of the things that she said that maybe she didn't even believe in God. And uh, some of the excerpts I, that I heard, she quoted St. John of the Cross, uh, whose famous poem, The Dark Night of the Soul, uh, she related to and felt like she had a common experience with. So at one point I, I got a hold of that poem and read it, and then there are a lot of uh, treatments on the poem by St. John of the Cross. And uh, in there he said something that really struck me. In the course of every, every man's, every person's journey, every truth seeker's journey, they find themselves on the banks of desolation, which is where I felt like I was. And um, so with that in mind, I was back in uh, my hometown of Springville doing my duties as the elders quorum president. And um, a friend of mine who was in the, who had been in the ward, he was a river runner, one of those people that I uh, kind of related to. And, He'd been on a trip, and I, I knew that, and so I saw him in the hallway there, and I said, oh, by the way, how was the trip? He said, not very good. We lost somebody. You lost somebody? What do you mean? Well, there was a teenage girl they'd sent on the trip to try to find herself, who was, her parents felt like she was lost, maybe some time in the wilderness would help. Well, not a big incident, but the raft pushed up against a little riffle while she was trying to adjust her life jacket. She went into the water, and they found her a mile downstream, and she didn't survive. And I went, wow, that's just horrible. And as I uh, went down, down the hall a little, little ways, and I called back and said, oh, by the way, what, what did you run? He said, desolation. Okay. So I was able to uh, go back, run that canyon a little while later with her parents. And uh, some of these lyrics took shape, but most of them are a metaphor for what I was going through. And 
if redemption finds me on the river's song, then love and music pulls me through. Say you love me Say you know my shade of blue And we can lay with arms Wide open to the stars If there's a home Then there's an answer But it's this side of the sky Oh, that lifts me from My desolation banks Lift me from my desolation base. All of these songs now have never been recorded or released, so there's <laughs> like you're in the new territory here. And just for the record, it was never really my choice to be with Deseret Book. <laughs> Came by default, where a record label I was signed to was purchased by them. So now they own my masters and my publishing, and they won't return my phone calls. <laughs> We'll work it out. There's good people there, too. Okay, I'm gonna play. Everybody good? Yeah. Quiet, I don't know if it means you're sleeping or... <laughs> you woke us up. Words for songs like this Lyrics started coming to me in the months preceding my leaving, which I'll actually, I think, is two years today, if you go by the Sundays. The second Sunday of October, two years ago, was when I finished teaching the elders' quorum and walked into the stake president's office and said, I'm done. <laughs> it's funny because I never expected any kind of reaction like that. You know what I mean? and, um, and the first big surprise I had like that, I met somebody down here, I forgot your name, but who is a fan of Ellis Paul, who is um, a good friend of mine, and, and uh, he called me just when this was going down, and he said, oh, you gotta, you gotta get out of there, you gotta come, you know, I got these shows to do down in the Bay Area, so come down and join me, you know. So he made me a special guest. The first show that we did was at a, a show in Berkeley, and it was sold out. And uh, he had me come on stage after announcing that I had just left the Mormon church. <laughs> I'm going, oh no. I walk out there and they're on their feet. <laughs> it was right after the Prop 8 vote, actually. It was just right after <laughs> Anyway, thank you for that. <laughs> Big ring and a fall down the road I'm walking on. Big ring and a fall down the road I'm walking on. I say, bring it all, gonna drag my soul. Water gonna rise Like to wash me out to sea Water gonna rise Like to wash me out to sea 
make me realize that only love can baptize me. There's trouble ahead, but the darkness scatters And there's trouble behind fading red The only trouble I see is the one that shatters These dreams inside my head Ooh. Big sun gonna rise when the darkest night is through Big sun gonna shine when the coldest night is through. So take me in the light, baby. I'm gonna lay my love on you. Big rain gonna fall down the road I'm walking on. Big rain gonna fall. Take me alive. if you got to get to the separate meeting. So. <laughs> Had this odd moment this morning. I was walking out the door of my house, and I'm in this twin home in Holiday, and uh, the couple that lived next door, we were walking out at the same time, and I had my guitars and stuff, throwing them in the... They had their white shirts and ties on, and they were on their way to the 9 o'clock you know, meeting. It just fills me with such joy. <laughs> I can't do the uh, white shirt thing anymore. I can't do white underwear either for that matter, but... <laughs> Light from about a billion stars Cuts the window blinds in this night of ours And hits your sheets like prison bars Alabaster skin. Oh, I can't. Sorry. Edit. Edit. Who's doing the video? Sorry. The light from about a billion stars. Cuts the window blinds, this night of ours And hits your sheets like prison bars In your alabaster skin mm, Holds me in And I wonder if these walls could talk Would they laugh at me or would they not Cry quietly cause they've seen a lot too many hard goodbyes mm, and honest lies. But I keep thinking after a love so sweet, it's 
not that love's so hard to find It's just so hard to keep So I get up when the morning's near to Step outside, slip the fear But you say, lay back down, rest your head right here Tell me you're okay But I keep thinking after a love so sweet. Mm. It's not the love so hard to find, it's just so hard to keep. I can't convince the sun to rise Might be days before I realize I might never see those deep sea eyes Look at me that way again The way it's been But I keep thinking After a love so sweet Not that love's so hard to find It's just so hard to keep, to keep It's not that true love's hard to find It's just so hard to keep Thank you. I'm going to do one more tribute to the sweet people who have made this an easy transition for me. can't say easy, but easier. Thank you all so much for having me. Peter and Mary, Woo! it's great to be your friend. Thank you. Next year I'll come to the whole conference. If I were the sun, today I'd wake you up slowly over dark leaves and window lace. Then I'd slide through the window and land on your pillow. I'd kiss your sleeping face. If I were the sun, today I'd Shine out from your eyes and light the world wherever you are. And I touch your shoulder. If the day turns colder, and I 
would warm your heart If I were the wind Today I'd tassel your hair Like free birds in the ocean spray And I'd brush your skin When your dress lets me in I'd whisper your worries away If I were the rain Today I'd fall to your feet And I'd cool the dust of the day I'd soothe your women And taste your tears And I'd whisper your worries away The sun can see you almost any time And the wind can touch your face And the darkness is your secret place And I just feel so far away And if I were the darkness Tonight I'd lay down beside you and I wrap you in mystery And I'd soothe your weariness And I'd taste your tears I'd set your heart to free If I were the sun Today I'd wake you up slowly Over dark leaves and window lace And I'd slide through the window and land on your pillow and I'd kiss your sleeping face If I were the sun